Hey, your boy Warbeck. Sorry to bother you guys, but guess what? Gengar is actually OP in this game. Wait, he's OP anywhere, anyway. And his purple is look, look, looks like a badass. He's a ghost. He's already dead, so you cannot kill him. So here's the thing. I tried several uh, Pokemon over here, and I'm definitely sure Gengar is my favorite so far. He's more OP than Zero Aura, you know, people say Garshop is good, you know. People say, haha, Lucario is the best one, and I'm like, bitch, please. Gengar is where it's at. People say a lot about Talon, Talon Flame, and people say about Cremorant even, I'm like, what the fuck? What are you cra- no. This is my boy, this is the guy. That will get your head straight. So here's the thing, let's let's go for a quick check what he does. So he's quite a eh until level seven. After level 7, he's quite okay. He's like, hmm, alright. So, here's the thing. We start with Will-O-Wisp and Lick. Lick is a crowd control technique, which just pulls the, the Pokemon to you. And it's... People say, oh, you should start with Lick. He's the best one, because he has crowd control. It doesn't matter. You're in low level. If you are in low level, you want to deal damage to the other Pokemon around in the area so you can gain levels. You don't engage in fights at low level because that's not gonna... still gonna help you out, but let's be real. If you play this game, you know that they're probably just gonna stamp you, especially because you're ghastly with Willow Wisp for legs, so that's not very good. And you have to be... You, ha you need to have the whole team with you to actually do something. And after level 7, Lick disappears. So there's no really much point on thinking about it. You just need to think about will o wisps it has like a, a three cone shaped will o wisps going through, which actually hits several Pokemon and lets them burn. Guess what? Let me see. Uh, dealing the oh, uh, it doesn't say here. I think burn lets them also deal less damage. Not sure. Don't quote me on that. It doesn't matter. This screen is okay. Now, this is where it's at. You need to get Sludge Bomb. Okay. So if you, you, you can start with Shadow Ball for the first time you game, because that's the default one. Uh, no, don't do that. No, it's okay. It decreases movement speed, so it's good to follow other people. But guess what? That doesn't matter. You need Sludge Bomb. Because guess what? Sludge Bomb puts a status effect, which is poison, status effect on an area of effects, so where it's an area on the floor. And you're gonna be like, oh, okay, so you can hit multiple, multiple people. So remember this, it's an area of effect which gets the other Pokemon a status effect, okay? All right, there you go, level seven. This is when it hits the fan. So we have Dream Eater, which puts the other Pokemon asleep, sleep, which, okay, it's crowd control. And then if you click again, you appear behind him and you deal a bunch of damage and actually very, very good damage. However, X. So Hex, what it does, deals a, a big amount of them. You, di you appear on a place that you selected, but if the other Pokemon has a status effect, you basically reset, reset the cooldown of Hex. So holy Hex. What happens in, when you have Sludge Bomb, you hit like three or two enemy Pokemon, right? <clears throat> they all have poison. And as soon as you hit them with Hex, the hex cooldown resets and guess what damage is pretty good i'll show you so i just entered practice mode and this is where we're going to try our things here so if you want to try it as well you can just come over here uh, you obviously you press plus practice options and you increase your level to level seven there you go all right so let's learn lick okay now let's learn shadow ball sure whatever and uh, why not? Dream Eater, yeah, okay. So, let's see the damage we deal with this guy. So, Shadow Ball, Dream Eater, 
Oh, yeah, I have to click again. So I dealt 2,000 damage, really. Let's move away for a little bit. And we'll come back again. There you go. So let's try now a different combo. Dream Eater and then Shadow Ball. Oh, I didn't do it. Anyway, I have Shadow Ball again. So I managed to do 3, 3k. So you do Dream Eater, Shadow Ball. When we port back into him, the, sh the Shadow Ball will just, well, reset. So let's try again. See if it works. There you go. Takes a long time, but <clears throat> you know, 2k, 3k damage. That's where normally where it's at. Let's try another combo then. Not this one. We're gonna try Dream Eater and then Shadow Ball. Oh my god, that was horrible. That was horrible. Less than 2k. That doesn't work. Right. Let's try it again with the other options then now. So here we go again. Let's go again to the substitute doll. And now... We're just gonna... It's the same thing as before, but now we're just gonna get it to level 7 again. And we're gonna learn Lick. Yeah, sure. Now we're gonna learn Sludge Bomb and Hex. Let's move away to reset the damage. There you go. Okay. So, if you try to hit with X and then sludge bomb it's going to be it's going to be okay it's going to be okay boom all right see so the initial combo obviously dealt a lot of damage but obviously sludge bomb because of the poison is so strong he just dealt jesus christ damage but now let's try something different let's try sludge bomb and then hex Remember, Hex is going to reset because the enemy is hit by the status effect. So I'm just going to press Sludge Bomb and then spam X without pressing any, any other thing. So there you go. By the time it finishes, I've dealt 15. That's a big, big improvement over the 2k or 3k that we did last time, isn't it? It's actually quite staggering i'm pretty sure they're just gonna do something about it really look at this and now you're gonna think well that guy is standing still you're not gonna be able to do that well yes yes you will let's get your enemy to several levels up above let's put us at max level actually now you're gonna say he's a bot which he is but he has no chance no chance doesn't matter no chance look at this shit I just swore, I'm sorry. Crap. Anyway, that's the thing. There's no competition. I'm just, just gonna show you some clips from games, in-game play, uh, plays that I have with this combo. It's, it's just good. That's it. They're gonna nerf it. There you go. All right, there you go. See, that's the thing. Th th that's it. He's just deleted. So it, it was quite okay. See, but that's the thing. Now he's gonna get killed. That's it. He's done. I'm just gonna wait for the reset on my sludge bomb. So I should be scoring some points for my team, I know. And I shall do so right now. After I clean these guys. There we go. There we go. See, that's the thing. It's just that easy. You need to hit the sludge bomb. That's why I like it. That is AoE because he hits several people. So whenever you do hex on those people, it actually... Oh, I have, I'm 50. Okay. See, that's the thing. You deal so much damage, you're so used to do it, that you don't even think about scoring goals. You just think, oh, I'm going to go to the next one. Which is bad because that's not how you win games. Look at this wave clear. Like, Jesus Christ. You just go for it, you know? Woo. Oh, look at this guy. Bye! I have 50 points. I need to spend them. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We have to go back there for those points. You know what? Let's go. 
Yeah, you, you just got the leader. That's the thing. Oh, come on. Let me do this one. Oh, there we go. Come on, Gengar. Now you just get done. That's the thing. Yeah, just die. Thank you. Final stretch. Oh, that, that's that's pretty much it. Let's just get some movement. Ah, oh, we're not gonna do it. That's sad, but anyway. There you go. Easy. Now, let's be honest. We also had a pretty good team, but even if we don't. This is the sort of thing you expect to be with Gengar. You expect to be on top. Always. There you go. So this is it boys. I hope you like the guide. Guide? It's not really a guide. You just press R and ZR. But the guide is mostly saying that you have to press Hex after Sludge Bomb. And you just spam it like crazy. And obviously you need to be careful with your own actions. You should spend the early game just a bit, a bit more careful. Because you're just going to get slumped. And Ghastly and, and Haunter, they are, they are okay. But they are very weak on early game. Because they don't have that much going for them. But as soon as you hit level 7, even if you're not Gengar, as soon as you hit level 7, you're going to start, start to deal some damage. So I hope you liked this video. And if you can, please follow me everywhere, except in real life. And I shall see you soon. Happy gaming.